Hello everybody, welcome back to another Gorilla Tag fan game tutorial. If you watched my last tutorial, you would have known that we added this. Which is, um, uh, we made a Gorilla Tag fan game with music and everything. But, yeah, I'm gonna be teaching you a few things. By the way guys, in my last gameplay I noticed the music was a bit loud, so I'm just gonna put it down a wee bit. But yeah, I'm gonna be teaching you how to add a photon, which basically means you can get multiplayer, cosmetics, uh, name changers, uh, literally every if you don't have folks telling what's wrong with you so the first thing i'm gonna do is our old player model we made if you still have a player model you're gonna have to get rid of it you can keep it but i'm gonna get rid of it for this because photon gives you a free one that looks way much better so first thing we need to do is if you want to get rid of your player model is that's if you added one is go to your resources folder and then go to gorilla preference gorilla rig go to main camera head model just delete it and go back and hit save. Okay, first thing you need to do is go to the link in the description and go into this link. It's a uh, pun to you free. Just hit open in Unity, open in Unity editor. Once you wait for it to load in Unity, like the actual Unity uh, thingy on your PC, it will open up this thing called Package Manager. And in your Package Manager, it will have all your assets. I have so many installed, but just just wait, just do this one. Once this is done, hit import wait for it to load. One, once that loads this should pop up this we uh, thing just hit and make sure you hit all and then import wait for that to load again. Okay now once that's done loading this should pop up it says pun wizard pun setup keep this open and what you want to do is you need to go to the next link in the description it should bring you to a site like this if you haven't already made an account you can just sign up but I have one so I'm going to sign in as you can see here I have already made a few things in here for my backrooms game called Backrun, you should download it on SideQuest. That's what you're going to do. You're going to go to the top. Oh, by the way, make sure you go to your dashboard. This is the dashboard. Go to the top, hit create new app. You're going to set this to a pun and name this. Let's tutorial game pun. I'm going to name it tutorial game pun. Wait for it to load. Okay, and the next thing you need to do once you've made a tutorial game pun or whatever you named your thing is create a new app and make this one a voice. I'm just going to call this tutorial game voice. And just hit, you don't need to do a description or anything. You can just hit create after that. So now I have the tutorial game pun and the tutorial game voice. Now what we want to do with uh, all that, we want to go to tutorial game pun. Click on this and copy it. Go into our, our Unity and paste it into here. I'm not going to show you mine because obviously you guys could get into my game, but just paste it into here. Okay, I pasted mine in, but I'm not showing it. But once you're done, you should just hit set up project, and that should be it. After that, just hit close on it. Now, once you've done that, you can just exit to this. Next, you want to go to the next link, which is Photon Voice 2. You want to just hit open in Unity again, open in Unity Editor, and then this will pop up just hit import or if you haven't imported to hit download but i've already got it downloaded before so just hit import and then wait for this to load okay once that's done loading this should pop up just make sure you click all and then hit import wait for this to load once that's done loading you can just close out of this okay now what we need to do next is go back into uh, assets go to uh this link and click the top one it should just download a file as you see up here to download this file you just want to drag this in to uh, unity and just drop it here it will load something just hit all and then import let this load and that is basically nearly everything done there's just one more thing you need to do you, know, you need to go to resources photon vr prefabs and see this photon vr manager photon vr player spawner photon vr voice you want to copy all these and drag them into your hierarchy go on to photon vr manager now my region is already set the eu use yours might be different but since i'm i am from eu I, can, I don't have to change it color this will just be your player model's color i'm going to set it to green because green is green uh default room limit that's how many people you want in your room the max you can do for photons 20 so i recommend doing that and then app id for the app id up here you need to go back into this website from earlier copy your game pun like the pun and put that in app id i'm not going to show this because obviously yes and then for voice app id you're going to go in and copy your voice which is 
going to be my tutorial game voice and copy that into voice app ID. Okay, now that we have done that, before we test to see if our player works, there's one thing we need to do. So if we go up to Photon VR Manager, here where it says head, you just want to go into your gorilla rig and drag in main camera. So main camera goes to head, left hand controller goes to left hand, and right hand controller goes to right hand. Now when we hit play on the game, when we hit scene, as you can see here, we have got a player model. Look at our guy. It looks so much better than before. And look, he's actually got textures. Okay guys, so in today we learnt player model that looks better than the last one. Okay, everyone have a really good day. This is how to add photon to your game. And I'll s also guys, I need you to recommend for me what to add. And I don't even need to play test my game because I know this will work because I'm testing it right now. If you want to see me test this game, it was in my last tutorial where I actually tell you how to make a full Gorilla Tech fan game. So uh, yeah, see you.